month of August, yes. in 2019, yes. in Gladstone, yes. Northwest, yes. South Africa, yes. in this sanctuary, yes. from Seattle's air. Hallelujah. I'm here with a friend of mine, Dr. Chas, and uh, 
and uh, she, she's the other person. And the love that she shows me, amazing, yeah, man. And uh, I just want to acknowledge her together with her husband, the uh, husband Chan. And uh, we thank God for such friendships, yeah, man. Kings of God has great friendships, hallelujah. And uh, welcome, thank you. I am here with my number one support, the mom. My number one champion is a man who makes me look good, amen. Not only on the outside, but on the inside. He makes sure that I pray. He ensures that I align with the will of God for the purpose of my life. Can you clap this for my husband? Hallelujah. 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 God is here. It's so good to see you, beautiful woman. Um, we've been looking forward to this time, and we thank God that we all made it to our safe. And then we know where we traveled, uh, quite a number of kilometers, but we thank God that we made it, amen. amen. And that you accept hands for yourself for being here. Amen. Amen. You could have been anywhere else. You could have been anywhere else, but you chose to be here. And, uh, and, and, and the word of God is God's word, that's not God's word. And I know already that God has touched you and has changed your life because um, I always say that women are the engine of what needs to happen. If we, if we forget and we don't do that, we will, fall, we will just sleep and not realize the power that is within us. Amen. I mean, the book of Hosea, chapter 4, um, verse 6. Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. All the pastors and the monks who said, Oh, I've learned a new way. They say they're called poop poop with tears. Mm. There are people who are not called poop with tears or poop with tears. My husband said it was tears, not tears. So I'm not sure. Poop with tears. Poop with tears. And we acknowledge all of you, amen. <laughs> and um, we thank God that you are here. There is power. In sitting down and learning from others, amen. amen. There is power in learning from others, amen. Uh, allow me this afternoon to talk to you about the importance of knowing yourself, brother. I would say. Your purpose is your power. Your purpose is your power. The importance of knowing yourself. As we gather in this gathering in this week, it is important for us to understand what it means. And how does all this fit into an equation? We can really fully enjoy our statuses, rather our status as queens, if we are aware or we are knowledgeable about who we are, whose we are, and why we are. When God created all of us, He had a purpose for each and every one of us. I had somebody say something earlier this week, and they said, by the age of five, most people's dreams are shattered. Because already on, by the age of five years, they've had so many no's, so many it can't be done. So many, no one has ever done it. So as you grow, before you're even a teenager, you already channeled yourself to just get one house and hope at least a job. By the age of five. Most of us, as parents, as mothers, we call it pulling our children to the right direction, but actually most of us, what we do is that we want to align them to what we think the direction they should go. It's rare that parents take time and they inquire from God about their children, 
about the purposes of their children. But what we often do, we steer them to a career path that we think will bring more money into this house. Mostly that is because that was done to us. The importance of knowing oneself. If you lack knowledge, rather the Bible puts it this way, my people perish. Not because they didn't go to school. Not because they are unmarried or they are orphans, but because they lack knowledge. Knowledge of God, knowledge of themselves, knowledge of their gifts. That's why you live anyhow. You go anyway. You associate with everybody because you lack knowledge. You come to church, but you are parents. On Wednesdays, on Fridays, Saturdays sometimes, on Sundays, we come to church, we fellowship, yet we lack knowledge. It's not so much that you are lazy to pray, it's because you don't perceive or you are not knowledgeable of who God is. That's why you think you are doing him a favor by praying. You are perishing because you lack knowledge. It's not so much that you can't fast. It's because you don't have knowledge of who your father is. Some of us don't even know that God is a father. That's why we run to men to find fathers. We perish. Because we lack knowledge. Knowledge of God. What do you see? Who do you think God is? The Bible tells me that nothing is impossible with him. He is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. When Moses asked him, he said, I am that I am. But if you lack knowledge, If you lack knowledge, you just know anything, anyhow, anywhere, because you don't perceive that everything, whether good or bad, is working together for the good. But you will go and consult some of us in Nyanga because you lack knowledge. The knowledge of God. I beseech you, brethren, to get knowledge. Yes, yeah. Paul puts it this way. He says, so that we may know him and the power of his resurrection. Yeah. We lack knowledge of the power of God's resurrection. That's why we still call pastors. Pastors at 12 when they say, my child is sick. Because you lack knowledge that the Bible says, those who are sick, lay hands on them and speak yeah. life. You lack knowledge. That's why sometimes you have to have seminars to teach you why you should type. You will have knowledge of who God is, of what can do, of what God can do with your giving and time. You want people to encourage you before you give. In churches we've created a segment, we call it an offering segment. Because we want people to come and perish us before we can give. We are perishing when we come to church. We lack the knowledge of who God is. That we don't give because we want to be blessed. In fact, we are blessed. That's why we have money. That's why we will give. The knowledge of who God is. Queen. 
Cuma kau orang infrastruktur. Penting banget kau ingat mengenai. But those of us who read the book of Isaiah, we know that those who wait on God, they shall multiply like eagles. Before you mount, it means you must be down in some way. So most of us, we don't want to be young crazy because we lack knowledge. In fact, when Joseph was in a pit, most of us, we don't like pits. Outside of 
like God. You have another thing coming your way. Statements such as I will pray for him and God will save him when we are in a relationship. You will realize that because of how God has orchestrated you and the plan of God about your life, he does not want gimmicks. <coughs> but if you lack knowledge of who you are and where you're going, you dread anything. You dress anyhow. It's the latest fashion. But until you realize that you are a royal priesthood, you are a kingdom child. Yes. You are power. You are anointed. God, Holy Spirit lives inside of you. It's not that it's bad, but it's just not for me. Because of who I am. Some places are not bad places to go, but because of who I am and who I am. But if you have knowledge of yourself, child of God, you will be found anyway. Drinking anything. There's power in knowing yourself. Who you are in God. There's a verse I read when I was young, it changed my perspective of life. The Bible says that He has made you a little lower than angels. As a teenager, after I've read that verse, my poster changed. I said, I read it again. He has made you to be a little lower than angels. I started to perceive that, yay, as much as I can go to school with these people, but there is something about me. As much as I can go to work with these people, but there is something different about me. God has helped me to find out what this is. Because what the devil does, he wants to kill it when you are still young. So that from then on what you settle. Most of us we live in lives that we have settled for. We marry men that we have settled for. We are in relationships, friendships that God did not obtain. We lack knowledge of ourselves. The children of Israel were supposed to walk 40 days. Most of us, our lives, were still going round and round and round because of the people we have in our boats. Our boats are busy shaking, but we don't perceive that we have wrong people in the boat. In fact, we are taking part of ourselves outside the boat to save the people that are not supposed to be in this boat because we lack knowledge of who we are. It's good that he's born again. We thank God for him. But he's not your husband. But because we are lazy to inquire from God, we see cars and houses and we say, because he's born again, we can build the life together. And then you are in a marriage in a church where you are studying, you can't even talk about it because you're separate. We are lazy to seek first the kingdom of God. So that all of these things can be added unto us. Have knowledge of yourself. Have knowledge of yourself. My Bible tells me that you are powerful. You are anointed. I wish somebody could grab the fact that they are anointed. Okay. You don't need a pulpit to know that you are anointed. You don't have to come preach to walk in your anointing. At the corner where God has placed you, fulfill that which you have said. Because you are anointed, not for the pulpit, but for the journey of your life. The reason we still bicker and gossip is queens. We lack knowledge 
we don't perceive that if a sister of mine is going through trouble, it's time for us to come together and lift her up in prayer. But we don't perceive. In fact, what we do, we talk about it. We drink tea on it because we lack knowledge. There's one thing that people who drink alcohol does. that. When you tell them your problem, they say, I'll come, and they'll come with alcohol. They don't even want to talk a lot, but they just make you sure that you, we all get drunk. What do we do as children of God? That knowledge of yourself will change how you view yourself. You would realize that you are not born to study. I wish somebody could get that. You are not born to study. You are not an ordinary. That's why you look the way you do. And sometimes some of us, we don't look like any of our family members. And we wonder, but it doesn't really, do I really belong here? It's because God has orchestrated you in such a way that we want to witness. And we waste time trying to mimic other people. It's good that people inspire us, but God did not make you so that you can become me. We waste a lot of time trying to become other people. I beseech you, get knowledge of yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Have confidence in yourself. Believe in yourself, for there is power in yourself, there is anointing in yourself, there is the Spirit of God inside of you, you are the chosen one for such a time as this, when God thought of this generation, he had you in mind, child of God, get to know yourself! You are too anointed. You are too anointed. I wish you could receive the way that God, how God sees you. You are didn't just happen. It was not a mistake. It was not a mistake. You are not a mistake. You are not a mistake. I feel I could stay here for a bit and just rest and say, you are not a mistake. Yes, yes. It was not a mistake. Yes. Everything that has happened till this time, it is not a mistake. God's plan about your life are to prosper you and not to harm you. You are a kingdom. Yeah. Get to know yourself. Get to know yourself, kingdom child, so that when you get to wear your crown, you wear it with pride. Not because of how you look outside, but because you understand that greater is he that is in me than the one who is. I beseech you yes. to get to know yourself. You won't perish. Most of them, the most of us, the budget that we have for our outer lives. The budget that we have for how we look on the outside will shock many pastors because not even your type is that amount. Not even your giving. Is that amount? Because mm -hmm. the devil has stolen it. He's used magazines. He's used television to, to make sure that you look a certain way. Some of us are in bleach skins. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because he has instilled this thing that you are not enough. The knowledge of yourself will change how you view your life. You are enough with the little makeup. Yes. Yes. In fact, you don't need makeup. You can put it on because you want to. But really, you don't need to. Stop believing in this lie 
that you have to look a certain way for you to qualify. You are a child of God. You are a kingdom woman. You are born of the uncomfortable seed of God. You are enough. You are enough. Stop going into debt trying to look good on the outside. You are enough. The kingdom of God wants people and wants queens who will die and who will come and give to it and share the vision with, together with their pastors. And God, we are so much indebted. We can't even give. Why? Because we have store accounts. Why? Because we want to look good. For who? What a shame. Because you want to receive. Yeah. The knowledge of yourself. You are enough. In that one room, you are still alone. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, you are still alone. Oh, yes. Whether your children die or not, you're still alive. Oh, yes. The pain of God about your life will still be there. Yes. Whether they've diagnosed you or not, you serve a God. You serve a God. Yeah. You have a father who said, I will never leave you. Yes. I will never forsake you. He never said, when you lost your job, now I've left. He said, I am God who will always walk with you. I will never leave you. Show me goodness and mercy shall follow you and your children and everybody surrounding you for the days of your life. If you make knowledge of yourself, what is this year's I don't know what about this year. The world takes people serious because they have money. There is a spirit that is penetrating the church. The same spirit. That's why even pastors are frustrated. They go and seek things from the kingdom of God. So that they can perceive to be anointed. Because if you don't have a certain car, come on. You are not really advanced. <laughs> Guard your heart. Guard your space. Guard the people around you. Not everybody should be your friend. Love them. But not everybody should be your friend. There is the inner core. There is the Holy of Holies. Not everybody qualifies to be in the holy of holies. The mistake you make sometimes, Joseph, is that you share your dreams with everybody. Because you don't perceive who you are. The knowledge of yourself. The knowledge of yourself. You begin to walk differently. Did you find a job? Or the knowledge I've come to realize who I am. Who I am. Who I am. I'm a child of God. I am beautiful not because I'm wearing something, but I'm beautiful because I'm made in the image of God. I don't need to wear a certain brand for my beauty to be visible. will be very low because the knowledge of yourself and you realize that God said he will never leave me. I remember back to how many years ago was God was born in 2017 I think when we lost our first child and she died and I had to go to ICU and I was on life support 
And while, while I was on my life machines and, and stuff like that, there's a verse that I had. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Nobody, people were came for me, I wouldn't hear them. But because I spent time reading the word, even when I was unconscious, I knew that the Lord is my shepherd. I saw no one. And knowledge of who you are. You will not perish. But you are perishing. You are busy in competition. Because you have knowledge. You don't know that time and seasons happen to the yes. yes. All. You might not be the first, but it happened to us all. But jealousy that we have, most of us are not sick. We don't need medical attention. We just need to let go of hatred and jealousy. Yes. Most of us, we are not sick, we are just jealous of our siblings. Before we go to church, of our siblings. Before we go to church, my church is full of our siblings. <laughs> and the priest team were, were, were jealous of each other. We lack knowledge. Of who we are. God has made you to be the influencer of the nations. Clear stop is not it. It's a good start. We learn more. But you are bigger than it. I wish you could perceive how great and big you are. So that you stop being mediocre about the decisions that you're making in your life. You are made for nations. Amen. 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 The nations must experience your gifts. Those of us who believe you have already received them, you are made for nations. Oh, yeah. It's not so much that they don't like certain things, but it's because of what they are hearing that they don't want to In this journey of your life, the your police will ask you, why don't you go with us? It's not so much that I don't like it, but there is a baby we are caring. He does not allow me to be touched. The families of your sister. The knowledge of your gifts, and I'm going to sit down. The knowledge of your gifts. Yeah. The knowledge of your gifts. All of us. The Bible says He has blessed us with all our spiritual blessings. All of us. Not only pastors, not only those who sing, but because we lack knowledge, we all want to be in one place. I beseech you, child of God. I beseech you, queen. Get knowledge of your giftings. They say life begins at 40. But I say life begins when you realize why you were born. Jesus didn't reach the age of 40. But the impact he had, we're still talking about the man. Take time to get to know 
Why are you here? We hear this often, but I tell you, it will change the course of your life. Some of us studied courses at school, but it has nothing to do with us. Yeah. Hey. My God. And now we are set into the direction that has nothing to do with us. That's why we pray that feet. But we console ourselves because it's one thing. At least we get to peace from this. But you are empty. Because the only way the Bible talks about that will make you sit with kings is your gift and it's a not your career. And we've twisted it. It's good that you've got education. Oh yes, it's good. I heard it. Did you go to school? Amen. Go to school. Hallelujah. <laughs> but your papers will make you sit with kings. Your purpose. Your God given purpose. Not what you were spent, not what the career that you chose because it makes more money. Not the family you chose to marry into. It's your giftings. Get to know yourself, child of God. I beseech you. Perceive who you are. Perceive who you are. Perceive the God that is in you. You are a powerhouse. 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 I, human banana, become a powerhouse. You can say to yourself, I am a powerhouse. God has put so much in you. I 